Hi, Ben here from Trout and Fly Fishing, back to talk about backing. Backing is one of the essential pieces of your fly fishing equipment, and somewhere along the journey, everyone's got questions about it, and we're here to answer them right now. So if you've never heard of backing, you're probably wondering what backing is. And backing, quite simply, on this reel, is the white line that connects the reel to your fly line, or in this case, the running line on my spay reel. But that's just it. Backing connects your reel to your fly line. It's that simple. And if you're an absolute beginner, you might be wondering, why do I need this? Well, backing serves two fundamental roles. First, it is a backup in case you get a large fish. So while you might never use backing in a trout fishing situation, if you get into saltwater fly fishing, you're gonna see your backing a lot. And frankly, that's one of the great joys of our sport is when you're seeing hundreds of yards of backing out of your reel. And the other purpose served by backing is to fill up your reel. So I wanna increase my retrieve and get the maximum performance out of this reel. And the way to do that is to fill this reel with as much backing as it can reasonably hold. And that's gonna make the diameter of this reel the absolute largest it can possibly be, which results in faster line pickup. The bottom line is, regardless of whether or not you're fishing for trout or permit, you're gonna need backing on every single fly reel. So let's move on to some of the materials the backing is made out of. And first up, is going to be Dacron. Dacron is gonna be the most basic, most essential type of backing. Dacron is simply a braided line. Almost all Dacron is going to be hollow, which means that you can splice it. Splices are the strongest and smoothest, best way to attach backing to your fly line. But let's back up. Dacron also comes essentially in two sizes, which are 20 and 30 pound. And 20 pound is gonna be your base level trout fresh water all the way up through sort of your eight weight reels. Once you get into larger reels and saltwater reels, you're gonna to wanna to step it up to 30 pound to give you that extra break strength. The other benefit of Dacron is that it is cheap. And here at Trident, we'll fill almost any new fly reel that you buy from us with Dacron at no charge. And the other type of backing that's out there is gel spun. Now gel spun, like this hatch premium backing here, is going to be a stronger, smaller diameter backing. So this backing here has a 68 pound brake strength, but the diameter is gonna be more similar to say a 30 pound bag. So for the same amount of space on your reel, you're getting almost double the brake strength, which is pretty awesome. The other advantage to gel spun is it's much, much more UV resistant. So once you put gel spun on your reel, you never have to worry about whether it's wet, whether it's been in the sun too long, it's just gonna perform for you day in and day out. Generally speaking though, gel spun, especially older gel spuns, are not gonna be hollow and therefore you can't splice them. So you're gonna wanna tie something like a Bimini twist. But there are a few, like Cortland C16 and our favorite backing, which is Power Pro Hollow Ace, that are spliceable. That's gonna give you, again, that super strong, super smooth through your guides connection. That's absolutely the best one out there. This video is supported 100% by your purchases at Trident Fly Fishing. So if you're in the market for some new tackle, check us out at tridentflyfishing.com. Another advantage for gel spun and PE backings is that they come in a lot of different pound tests. So Power Pro, you can get it all the way up to 100, 200 pounds if you really wanted to. Not that we would ever recommend that for most fly anglers. So why doesn't everyone use a gel spun line? Well, quite simply, it's expensive. But if performance is what matters to you, there's simply nothing better on the market. Now, on to the all important question, which is how much backing you need. And we're gonna break this down into three separate categories. The first is going to be trout and really most freshwater fishing. And I'm not talking about leviathans, just your general run-of-the-mill freshwater fishing. And for most freshwater fish, you need some backing. Most likely you're not gonna ever end up using that backing to help you stop a fish. So the main purpose is going to be just to attach your line to your reel 
And for that, you need some. Now again, we recommend filling every reel to its capacity because that's gonna give you that highest possible retrieve and the best performance. But in terms of what you actually really, really need, it's just some backing for most freshwater fishing. Now the next category is gonna be saltwater and anadromous game fish. Now I'm not talking about marlin here, I'm talking about bonefish, steelhead, salmon, and those types of game fish. Fish that are gonna be in the, let's say, 20 or 30 pounds and smaller class. For these fish, I'd say the absolute minimum that you would want is about 100 yards, but really most of those reels are gonna be designed for 150 or 200 yards. And again, it becomes even more important to make sure you're filling that reel to get the most performance out of it. But using a rule of thumb on the average, you're gonna to be totally fine fishing for bonefish, steelhead, most species of salmon, excluding kings, of course, with about 150 yards of backing. And our next category is going to be big game. This is gonna be big permit, big tarpon, anything that's blue water. And here's where you're gonna need lots of backing. And I would say the absolute minimum for that type of fishing is gonna be 250 yards. And that's gonna be for fishing from a boat, fishing for tarpon, any smaller fish in that big game category. And that's gonna go all the way up to about 400 yards. 400 yards is what we recommend for really big rooster fish, any sort of blue water game fish. But if you're chasing big blue water game, you're probably not watching this video anyway. And there you have it. That's everything you're gonna to need to know about backing and how much you need. If you're interested in learning more about backing, backing types, and how to fill your reel to the exact right capacity, we've got a backing shootout and buyer's guide on our blog, and I'm gonna make sure there's a link in the description below. If you have more questions about backing, leave us a comment in the box below, or give us a call at 888-413-5211, where one of our fly fishing experts will be happy to help. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.